Hello there, welcome. I'm Machine Dana. I hope you're having a really, really good day. So yesterday I released a video. It was quite an important video and it was all about hate raids, how you can avoid them. And there was some really good practical advice within that video of things that you can do right now to avoid hate raids. Obviously hate raids on Twitch, we shouldn't have to deal with this kind of stuff. In that video, I went into a lot of detail about hate raids, why they're happening, what exactly they are. I talked about IP grabbers and the dangers of those, what Twitch is doing about them. And of course, the practical advice that I gave within the video. I'll link that in the video above and in the description below please check that out. However, in the time since that video going live, Streamlabs have introduced literally just yesterday a safe mode from their dashboard. It's free to all viewers and in this video I'm going to talk through exactly what that setting is, how you can activate it and how it can help you avoid hate raids and other unprofessional nasty conduct within your chat on Twitch and I think it also works on YouTube as well. So yeah, in the video, I'm going to show you how you can set it up, where you can find it. It only takes a couple of minutes or so, so it'll be a fairly short video. Hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully you find this useful. Don't forget to check out the video that I mentioned earlier, because really there's a lot of stuff covered in that video that I'm not going to be covering in this video. Also, if you do find it useful, I would really, really appreciate if you hit the like button. It only takes a second and it genuinely helps me. Feel free to subscribe as well. Let's go. So first and foremost, there is an article here that covers this in a little bit more detail. There are two main elements to this. The first element is just activating safe mode to do the basics. That will clear all the recent events that have happened. It will clear the currently queued alert box alerts, for example, host raids and followers. And it will also just disable the follower alerts as well. So basically what it does is it works with alert box on Streamlabs to almost like disable it, but also like almost like do a reset on it. And this is particularly useful for follower botting where you might get a thousand and follow notifications coming through using safe mode will literally just kill those and end them. If you also use Cloudbot from Streamlabs, which is the chat bot and controls all kinds of other things like moderation, other modules and interactions and commands and timers and things like that. And by the way, I've got loads of videos on how to install Cloudbot, how to use it and all the modules that are available within Cloudbot. So I'll link some of those videos below and I'll put a card on the playlist as well if you want to browse through that playlist. If you use Cloudbot and enable safety mode, it will put the chat into emote only mode. It will put the chat into follow only mode it'll put the chat into sub only mode and it will disable chat alerts for followers so there'll be no alerts within the actual chat panel itself i've also done a video all about chat alerts too which again i'll link in the description it will also then clear the chat history in chat and the reason why this is possible is because to enable cloudbot you have to actually mod streamlabs and mods can do all of these things that you see listed so if you're using cloudbot you get access to those if you're not using cloudbot it's just these things here now many people don't know that on Streamlabs, you've got this recent events tab and there's loads of extra stuff in here that I've covered in so many different videos, particularly if you're like suffering from alert box issues or whatever else. For example, within the live actions tab, you can reload all of your widgets or even set the alerts master volume here. But on the recent events tab here, you've now got this shield icon, which if you hover over is safe mode. If you click it, this is how you activate safe mode. So just briefly here, you need to go to this URL. You could bookmark this on your Chrome browser or whatever. Go on recent events tab here and then click on the shield mode. Now, by default, it will select the maximum possible safety for your chat. And then you've got the option here just to sort of deselect all if you want to, or just cherry pick the things that you want to happen. For example, you may want to clear chat history and disable chat alerts, but you may not want to put on sub only mode. For example, you might not actually have that many subs and therefore you may want to allow people that are following to actually still chat. You can then set a duration that you want safety mode to be active for, and this will then turn it off after a while. For example, if you want it for 15 minutes, you do that and activate. You can see it's doing stuff there. You can see safety mode is enabled and it's now cleared off all of the actions that are happening in the background and all the events. Within my Twitch channel, I can click on this mod sword here to get the mod view. Some people may not know that mod view is available on Twitch. And I can see here from the mod actions that clear chat has been done by Streamlabs a minute ago. Enabling emote only chat has been enabled by Streamlabs a minute ago. Enabled follower only chat has been enabled for anyone that has been following for more than 1,440 minutes. I'm not quite sure what that is, to be honest, but that's how the follower only works and we can see from the recent events tab within Streamlabs that everything's now been essentially cleared. Now we can also see here that safety mode is activated because there's the icons lit up. So if we now want to click on that again if we wanted to deactivate this how's your experience? Say it was great. 
And just by clicking safety mode there, it has deactivated it. So going back into mod mode here, I can see it's been removed by Streamlabs, follow only removed, and essentially all that has been undone. Now when I click back into safety mode, I can see that I've got the option to reactivate it, which confirms that it's not currently active. Now a few things about the CloudBot safety functions that I mentioned earlier. Within the CloudBot function here, you do need to make sure that CloudBot is turned on here. You do need to make sure that you've forward slash modded Streamlabs in your chat. And you also need to make sure that you've logged in with the relevant account that you're applying the safety mode to. So if you've logged into your Streamlabs account with your YouTube account and you're trying to put safety mode onto Twitch, you might have some problems there. But you can also go into settings here under account. Go into account settings here as you can see which accounts have been connected here and the respective username. So there you go. That's safety mode from Streamlabs. Really good tool that they've just implemented there. Really, really quick. And it's nice that they've done that in a timely manner. It's been great that they've jumped all over the opportunity. Of course, they're going to get some financial benefit from this. Of course, it's in their business model to do stuff like this but also it's a really good useful tool that does help creators and it's completely free if you found this useful hit the like sub to the channel and see you later